Donald Trump has changed his story several times during the Russia investigation. As special counsel Robert Mueller and various news reports have dug up information about Russian meddling in the 2016 election, Trump has followed a predictable pattern. Here's how it works. Trump begins by broadly denying that something happened. First, he denied that Russians had hacked Democratic emails. But I notice anytime anything wrong happens, they like to say, the Russians, the Russians, she doesn't know if it's the Russians doing the hacking. Maybe there is no hacking. The campaign also denied that it had any contacts with Russia. I, I joined this campaign in the summer, and I can tell you that uh, all the contact by uh, the Trump campaign and associates was with the American people. And Trump denied that he had any business connections with Russia in July of 2016 just weeks after his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, stopped working on a project to bring a Trump Tower to Moscow. I mean, I have nothing to do with Russia. I don't have any jobs in Russia. I'm all over the world, but we're not involved in Russia. As facts emerge which make the denial harder to maintain, Trump downplays their significance. He did that when he admitted Democratic emails had been hacked, but cast doubt on who did it. I think it was Russia, but I think it was probably other people and or countries and I see nothing wrong with that statement. Uh, nobody really knows. Nobody really knows for sure. He did it when he admitted that his campaign chair, son, and son-in-law had met with a Kremlin-connected lawyer in Trump Tower during the election. He took a meeting with a lawyer from Russia. Uh, it lasted for a very short period, and nothing came of the meeting. And he did it when he argued that the Trump Tower Moscow project was not a big deal. Yeah, everybody knew about it. It was written about in newspapers. It was a well-known project, and so he's lying about a project that everybody knew about. I mean, we were very open with it. We were thinking about building a building. This deal was a very public deal. Everybody knows about this deal. I wasn't trying to hide anything. Finally, Trump makes an admission, but argues that it's not that important. He did that when he argued that Russian meddling had no influence on the election. Well, Russia's actions had no impact at all on the outcome of the election. Let me be totally clear in saying that, and I've said this many times, I accept our intelligence community's conclusion that Russia's meddling in the 2016 election took place. He did it when he argued that meetings with foreign nationals promising dirt on a political opponent are routine. So I think from a practical standpoint, uh, most people would have taken that meeting. It's called opposition research or even research into your opponent. I've had many people, I have only been in politics for two years, but I've had many people call up, oh gee, we have information on this factor or this person or frankly Hillary. Uh, that's very standard in politics. And he did it when he argued there would be nothing wrong with pursuing a business deal with a foreign government while running for president. We decided, I decided ultimately not to do it there would have been nothing wrong if I did do it. If I did do it, there would have been nothing wrong. That was my business. Even if he was right, it doesn't matter because I was allowed to do whatever I wanted during the campaign. I was running my business, a lot of different things during the campaign. One problem for Trump with this pattern? It undercuts other denials he's made. And it raises the question, if there was nothing wrong with it, why deny it in the first place?